Hey guys, Master is back with some Borderlands 2 for you today, of course, and this is going to be a bit of a vermivorous special video, and uh, there'll be a bit of information in here about what he drops, a bit of information about how to get him to spawn, and uh, yeah, just a few little bits and pieces I'll try and share with you, but first I'll start off by saying, um, I, I actually got a message from one of my subscribers named uh, Faze, and he said, look, I used two of your videos to try and get Vermivorous to spawn. He said that I almost got him spawning at a guaranteed rate. And uh, he said, look, go to the Caustic Caverns where you showed to go in one of your earlier videos and also do the four player uh, trick to go to Master G's gate initially. And he said that he has got up to five Vermivorous to spawn in one play session, uh, which is insane. And initially I didn't believe him, I was like, uh, that's a pretty standard way to actually go and farm for Vermivorous and it's not really guaranteed, but after doing it, like I've done it a lot of times just over the last two days, and his spawn rate in the Caustic Caverns is dramatically increased, and I'll guarantee you that. Uh, almost every single time I've been here, I've got Vermivorous to spawn with this technique. I'd say my rate is about 80%, which is unheard of. Uh, it, it used to be a, a completely, completely random thing, but now you can almost guarantee a spawn, and sometimes you'll get multiples. Uh, something that's also cool is what I think they have done is uh, Gearbox released a hot, uh, hot fixes a couple of, how long ago, about a week ago. Uh, what it was was uh, they released the hotfix for all platforms, PC, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3. And what that did was it uh, changed the Mechromancer's class mod, it fixed the Assassin Slayer of Terramorphous class mod, and they cleaned up a few uh, errors with the Torgs campaign of Carnage, like making the vending machines level 50. But they are hot fixes, which means they only work when you are connected to the internet. It's not actually like a patch, it's more like something that only works when you are connected to the internet. And I was thinking that they may also have changed something with Vermivorous, and I can almost guarantee that they have actually, now that I've tested it uh, for a while. Vermivorous right now, as of making this video, my time, my date right now is the, uh, it's the fifth day in February 2013, uh, and it's about 9 p.m. Every single time, you kill Vermivorous, you get a Legendary. So I don't know whether they've added that in a hotfix, but he has a guaranteed Legendary drop rate. Uh, and I've done it 19, 20 times now in a row and got a Legendary every single time, uh, which is incredible. So you see, there's his pod there. He just potted up, it's a pretty badass pod. I've been trying to get good footage of him potting up and popping out of the pod, so that was one of the best ones I've got. But yeah, um, you saw the overlay at the start of the video, you can go back there and pause it. Most people know what he drops already, but I thought I'd do a, a bit of an overlay and explain all the items that he can drop. Uh, and yeah, it's guaranteed at the moment, so you can get yourself a Norfleet, you get yourself a Nasty Surprise, Legendary Class Mods, you can get yourself some really cool character customizations. And this is the only place to get them unless you trade for them for someone else. There is no other place in the game that you can get things like uh, Ninja Rose or that you can get Galahad or you can get Super Duper Fly. Like those items are unique to Vermivorous. And I think it's a really good idea that uh, Gearbox, like again, I'm thinking that they did this with a hot fix, like a hot patch, but I'm not entirely sure. But I, I really think it is something that has happened because to have a 100% drop rate now is, is amazing. It's, it was very similar to what they did in the Gear Up weekend where they increased his spawn rate over in all locations and they also made the uh, Norfleet an almost guaranteed drop. But uh, I can almost unequivocally say if you can get Vermivorous to spawn in your game, you will kill him, you will get a legendary. I can just about guarantee it. So if you do try it, uh, and you do get him to spawn and you kill him, let me know in the comments what legendary you get. And uh, yeah, I, it, it's it's just amazing. And I, I really hope this is something that uh, is either going to be patched in the game or it's something that they're going to make permanent because it's fun. I mean, uh, he's not he's not that difficult of a boss. You just need to respect correctly. Like a B shield and something like a fire sample will put him down fairly quickly, but 
just the experience of having Vermiverus in your game is incredible. He's such a large boss. He looks incredible, and especially with the lighting and all of the design in the course of caverns, he just looks like he's at home in there. It looks fantastic. And if you haven't fought him in your game, if you've only seen him in videos, I would definitely recommend trying to do this trick. So basically, it's run out to Hater's Folly, to Master G's Gate. I should have also stated in that video that uh, you will need to have least defeated Hyperius for that trick to work. Because if you haven't defeated Hyperius, Master G is not unlocked. And when Master G is not unlocked, it's not going to do anything if you run to his gate. So defeat Hyperius, do what you have to do to get him out of the way. And once you've got Master G unlocked, then you can run to his gate and get the four player difficulty like scaled up. Come here to the Caustic Caverns. You can either start in the shack where I am now. Uh, the other place which is in the, the door where I initially started the video. That's a really nice place to do it. And uh, it's, it gives you a, a nice bit of cover in there as well. So you can just sort of dodge side to side and you can't get hit and nothing can actually get in there. And uh, yeah, thanks to FaZe, my subscriber and the dude that's following me on on Twitter for sending me the information about this because it was a really cool thing. I would never have thought to come back and try the Caustic Caverns again. I'd been trying to farm Vermivorous uh, at the farmhouse out at Tundra Express for, for the most of the time. And he was like, nah, go to Caustic Caverns to try it. And the best I've done so far, I've had two spawn on screen at the one time, which was incredible. And when that happens, I should say that only one of them will drop a legendary, so you won't get two legendaries. The first one you kill will be the one that drops a legendary, so keep that in mind. Anyway guys, video is just about to wrap up. Thanks for over 18,000 subscribers on the channel now, that's insane. And uh, you just see, there we go, Norfleet Delivery legendary. Service. Legendary. <laughs> guys from the live stream will get that. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, until the next video, we'll see you later.